What's going on everyone and welcome to another Marauder Task Force build a character. So um, I do have a character here finally I got him in the mail. Um, Marauders was a little bit backed up with a lot of their orders. They got a, a, a plethora of orders within the last month so I, I'm not really gonna fault them too much for um, making me wait a, a little bit so no big deal there but uh, we've got a little package here and uh very excited about this this is how i wanted to end my week this should be a stress-free fun little video to do uh zorpox what's going on man um if you guys that uh did win the contest uh i apologize for the delay but um bear with me um a lot of stuff went down including me having to go uh a, a bunch of car situations going on in my life just bought a new car, new used car. Um, but uh, don't worry, your stuff will be mailed out by uh, Tuesday. So for those of you that did win. Um, I still have not heard back from one of the winners, by the way. Um, which was, who was one of the winners? Um, I have not heard from Invader 6 Dark Lord Cobra 66, so... Uh, I'm going to give you until the end of the weekend, and if you don't respond uh, or send me a message via Facebook, then uh, I'm going to have to forfeit your prize. It's been going on two weeks now, so, um, and I still haven't heard anything back from you, so if you could please do that, it's not hard to do. Just go on Facebook, on my Facebook page, send me a message, and I will respond, so but if I haven't heard anything back, I'm going to have to forfeit your prize and give it to someone else. And I'm just going to do another random drawing. So, um, unfortunately, Invader 6 Dark Lord Cobra 66, could you please contact me? That's that's all I want to say about that. Let's crack open a energy drink because I need that in my life right now. But today, we are going to get to the real reason we're here. All right. So... Here we go. We got a whole plethora of stuff there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still kind of fighting off this weird flu-like symptoms I'm, I'm having. I don't know why it's been lasting this long. It's been over a week now, and it's driving me up a wall. Um, action figure expert, what's going on, man? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Apologize. Hopefully I don't, didn't do that in your ear. All right, so what do we have here? We have an upper torso. I was also, I had to order the whole body. So here's the lower torso I'm not going to be using. And Marauders was actually nice enough to send me an extra head and an extra axe with a sheath. So that's pretty cool of them. Um, usually they only send like a, a smaller um, items for free, but I feel like maybe they maybe they felt bad or maybe I'm just a really good customer and they wanted to um, throw me something a little bit extra. <laughs> but uh, they sent me a uh, yeah, bald head, which I don't have. Whoa, 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 whoa. A bald, come on. A bald head, which is pretty cool. So there's the bald head. And then we've got uh, that axe too, which is pretty dope. Dopage. All right, so let me get my camera situated here since Everything is not wanting to work today. There we go. Okay. So we have an upper torso, which is short sleeved black t shirt. I'm going to move stuff over. Everything is like cluttered right here. I got no arm room. Can't maneuver at all. So everything's still a disaster for my Ninja Turtles. And I'm still going to do the other two turtles. Don't worry. But a whole lot of great news came out today, guys, as I get to this, as far as uh, Toy Fair, day one Toy Fair. Uh, pretty excited about everything. Um, as far as the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cartoon Turtles coming out uh, in two packs for Target. Uh, it's a Target exclusive, and we're going to finally get our NECA uh, Cartoon Turtles and a regular retail release. Isn't that fantastic news? Super, super excited for that. Oscar, how's it going, bud? <coughs> I 
But anyway, okay, let's get, we got a, uh, next up we have a uh, attack vest here. So there you go. I don't know if you guys can see everything okay. I'll try to get my lighting a little bit better. Everything's coming off like really dark right now. I don't know why. It's so annoying. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. So we got a, a gray tack vest. We have a backpack with, uh, I guess I cheated and I put two pouches on there, but that's where they're going to be. Then we have some knee pads here. A holster. A knife. <laughs> Machete. We have what looks to be an ACR with nothing in it yet. And then, speaking of the ACR, we have all the attachments for the ACR. We have a ponytail head. Some legs. These are the non-armored legs. We have an M203 grenade launcher. A, uh, uh, a scarf here, excuse me. Couple grenades. One is a pineapple grenade. I believe the other one is a, let's say a flashbang. Two black padded hands for gloves. Two, uh, a set of, uh, or actually two sets, I should say, uh, two uh, loops for the grenades. And then we have some gray and black pouches. Two are ammo pouches and two are large pouches. And then last but not least, we have a radio. Uh, it's just a black, well, actually, I think that's a dark green radio. So, okay. So those are all our pieces. Let's start putting our guy together. And it is a, it is a male, even though I have a female head with a ponytail. We're going to get to that in a minute. Uh, the new torsos, uh, or I should say the old torsos do work with the new upper torso. So that's just something to point out. So you shouldn't have any issues with that. So there we go with that. All right, let's get our pouch out of the way there. Let's uh, let's chat it up. Let's see how everybody's doing today. What do I think of the DC action figures made by McFarlane? I didn't see them yet. Um, I'm still kind of uh, <laughs> waiting for everything to marinate for the day as far as the Toy Fair news. Um, I haven't checked everything out yet, but I'm going to check everything out probably later. I wanted to get this uh, all situated, but I haven't seen everything. I've seen a couple of the DC Collectibles figures, like that that new Batman, which I'm not really a big fan of, that design for Batman. It looks a little bit too much like, um, uh, what should we call it, Arkham Knight. For me, it's a little bit too too overdone, for me at least, personal preference-wise. But I saw the Lucha Libre DC Collectibles figures... And I'm just like, ah, oh, that's that's money saved right there for me. I don't care about those at all. Um, but, uh, okay, so we got that. First thing we'll do is our hands here. So let me plug in my, hold on a second, the correct situation here. There we go. <coughs> Pardon me. How's everybody doing today on this Friday? Hope everybody had a good week. All right, I'm going to do this off camera just so it's, uh, you know, you're not deafened by the damn <laughs> gun here. All right, that should be 
good for the hand. There's one hand. One hand down. <laughs> uh, I did finally get a new car, though. Thing is, my other car was, uh, you know, totaled. Not by not by my fault at, at all, anyway. Um, my poor Subaru is no more. But so is life, you know. All right, there's the other hand. All right, so two hands are down. Let's get those out of the way. Sorry, the only reason I was doing that off camera is just because it's too bulky, too much stuff in the way there. What do I think of the Lucha DC figures? Uh, I'm going to pass on those. That's a, that's a solid, easy pass for me on those. I, I don't really... Uh, they haven't really sparked my interest too much. Okay, so now with our hands now, what you want to do here is... With the gloved hands, with both these gloved hands, uh, the pegs on these are a little bit longer than the regular hands, as I've pointed out in other videos, but I'll point it out again. See how the peg is larger and bulkier? What you want to do is you kind of want to just trim down this peg. Not too much, just a little bit, and I'm going to show you where you want to trim it down. Oop, I still have a piece from the other one. Whoop, get out of here. If I can do this. Just want to trim it right off the top. Like I said, not too much, just enough where you want to shorten it. Do not go past, do not go past the little hump. See that little hump? Where the hell is my pointer? Uh-oh, my pointer's gone. Where did my pointer go? Oh dear. Anyway, I'll use this instead, I guess. See this little hump right here? Don't go past that marker right there. Yes, the hand won't secure into the um, arm. Excuse me. All right, so let's do this with this one too. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so I'm just going to heat up these hands just to get, or the arms, excuse me, just to get them in easier. And we'll get them in. That should be good enough. You don't really need too much heat. And you just want, oops. Just want to slide it on in. There we go. There we go. Oops, flip that around there. Flip that around there, like so. And there you go. Perfect hand. And then you want to take this one. Oh, come on. This one's a little loose. That hinge joint's a little loose. I'm not actually putting a lot of pressure. I know it might look out like I am, but I'm not. I'm just kind of easing it in. There we go. There's two hands. Perfect. They both look great. Awesome. So, okay, so we got the hands done. We've got the body portion attached there. All right, torso is attached, hands are attached, and there we go. Dog is doing weird things right now, I don't know what he's doing. It's like hovering around me. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to take our head, and we're going to modify this head just a little bit. I'm just going to take a little bit off of this ponytail because it's a little bit too long. So I'm just going to take a little snippage here, and I'm going to snip this off. Right about there. Goodbye. That's all we wanted to do, right there. Tim Casa, what's going on, buddy? Welcome to the stream. All right, so we have our ponytail. It's shortened now. Okay, don't worry about it being a female head. We're going to get to that. Uh, do you, do you find a hairdryer? And hot 
I think you're trying to ask me, action figure expert, if I use a hair dryer or hot water. I use, it depends. Um, sometimes I, I'll use, uh, depending on the figure. With uh, G.I. Joe's, I always use a hair dryer. Um, usually with most six inch figures, I'll use a hair dryer. When it comes to NECA figures specifically, I will use hot water. I will use boiling hot water um, just to loosen up their joints. I feel like boiling hot water uh, loosens up their joints in a different way than it does maybe a stronger plastic, a more uh, durable plastic like Marauders or Marvel Legends. Um, they have stronger plastics where NECA tends to have a little bit more of a brittle plastic. Um, that's just what I use. Um, you can use either or. I mean, there's not really a, a wrong way to do it. Um, but when using a hair dryer, try not to hold it too close to your figure or she will melt the figure and try not to have it on too high of heat uh, if you have heat settings for it. So just a, just a little tip, a couple tips. And it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a, a Marauder's Task Force video without little bags being stuck to my arm. So let's just get that out of the, off the table. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love those little bags sticking to your arm annoying the ever-loving shit out of me <laughs> all right let me take a sip of my energy drink oh man that is good okay so next up we're going to put on our knee pads our knee pads let's do that now there's two ways you can do this you can heat up the feet, pop the feet off if it makes life easier for you. I'm just going to kind of snake them on. It's not, a, it's not really that difficult to do, to be honest with you. Just kind of do it that way. And then when, once you get to the knee, it gets a little bit uh, tighter of a fit. You just kind of have to work, work it up. That's all. Not hard to do at all. And then there you go. You got your, your knee pad on, your first one. All right, let's get our second one on. Like I said, you can take the feet off if you need to. It makes just life easier for you that way. I just usually like to put them on this way. It's not really that uh, daunting of a task. And there you go. Nice fit. They, they do move around a little bit. It's not the end of the world, though. So that's good. Knee pads look good. Gloves look good. Torso looks good. Everything's looking pretty dang good so far. Okay, next up, we are going to do, you know what, let's get him out of the way. We'll, we'll pan away from him and let's get to our ACR here. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of modification to it just to, um, just to get the grenade launcher on there. It's not a big deal. I'll just have to trim one of the pegs off because it comes actually with the... Uh, two peg system <coughs> excuse me pardon me let's get these baggies out of here all right so in this bag we have an extra mag we have a silencer we have an ACOG scope which I'll be using for this um, I believe we have a range finder as well a couple other sites like a holographic site in there um, I believe another type of site I'm not really sure which one that is but uh uh, it looks pretty cool. We also have a grip on there, which we won't be using for this this uh, build, unfortunately, but uh, pretty cool nonetheless. Can you guys guess who this is yet? Do you any guesses? I haven't heard one guess yet, or seen one guess yet. Excuse me. <coughs> oh my god! All right, so our mag, we're just gonna pop that in there really quick, and that's not really difficult to do. Oops. Is this, am I doing things inappropriately? Inappropriately. There we go. That's better. I had it upside down for some reason. I don't know why. There we go. There's that. And we're going to be using this site. And here we have our silencer. We're going to be putting our silencer on just the end. And if it's right over the, the top. No, it's not flint. Not flint. Is actually not a G.I. Joe character, so have fun with that one. <laughs> Alright, next we're gonna use ACOG. ACOG scope. Oh, eh. 
we're gonna have to glue that in because that is very loose. Let's try to move it up one. Oh, that just looks silly like that. Right, let's try. Ooh, let's try this. Let's try this one. Ooh, yeah, that looks a little bit better. I like this one. Kind of like the uh, comp. Comp four site with a red dot. Looks good. Okay. Moving on. I think that's all I'm going to be using here is that sight and the silencer. There's not really anything else. Everything else are just uh, pretty much sights here. I'm going to be using the grenade launcher next. And I will get that to fit. Do, 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 do. I will be doing a G.I. Joe character the next time. I'm actually going to be placing an order tonight for a new build. So stay tuned for another Task Force Marauders figure coming up, everybody. Now let's get our character back in here. And don't worry, we're going to glue everything, you know. If you, if you are just tuning in to this series or if you're new to it, or if you are a veteran of this series, then you know that we fit everything in first, then we glue everything down next. All right, so next up, we're going to be taking our tack vest and putting our tack vest on, which is a quite simple thing to do. Now, with this particular tack vest, I usually just peg it into one side, um, especially with this new torso, new sculpted torso. It is a little bit tighter of a fitment, and you really only need one side to be pegged in. Um, you can peg in both sides. It is a very tight fit, as you can see right here. Um, I don't really have to stretch it to get it to peg in, but it's not really getting all that close. Um, as long as you have one side pegged in, for the most part, it doesn't look really bad, to be honest with you. So, I think that looks pretty darn good right there. It's fine. So, there's our tack vest. That was very simple to do. No issues there. All right, let me grab my M203 grenade launcher. There we go. As you can see, it's got two pegs here, but unfortunately on the ACR, there's only, get out of the shot. Um, there is only one peg hole at the bottom here. So we're gonna just snip off one of those right now. There we go. So we got our, our snippage. Now this I am going to glue right now because I don't want this to fall out. I don't think it's going to fit tight, tightly, excuse me. Oh God, I need to get some new glue. Oh my God, oh my God. There we go, okay. So it's just a little, little bit of glue, not a lot. Just a little bit. And spread it around. Get in there all deep like. <laughs> all right. Let me put this on here. Uh-oh. Might be running into an issue here. Let's see. Uh-oh. We might be running into an issue. And... Kind of, sort of. Tommy Lasorda. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. This is getting in the way of the mag. I might have to take this out. Retreat, retreat. All right, so we'll just go with no grenade launcher there. It's not the end of the world. What we'll do is we'll put a grip in there instead. No big deal, right? We'll use this grenade launcher for somebody else, I'm sure, down the road. All right, um, let's see, let's see. Oh, I want my, uh, where'd that stuff go? There we go. Okay, so we'll put our grip in for him. Let's get our grip out. No big deal. Okay, we want our grip to be facing this way. Hopefully this will fit. Let me get my tweezers really quick. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get him back in here. 
I'll be right back. I just have to grab my tweezers really quick. Should be two, two to five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year, I'm back. <laughs> there we go. Tweezers are acquired. And we're gonna simply pop this sucker in there. See if it's gonna fit first. That looks like it's gonna fit just nicely. Beautiful. Nice tight fit. <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me. How much did I end up spending on this figure? Uh, weapons and accessories included. $25. $25 total for this character. All right, so we got this. We have our ACR, which is all set now. And I got to say that that grip is actually quite a tight fit, so it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to see if it's going to jiggle around, move around at all. But no, yeah, it's not even moving around. There might still be some glue settled in that hole from the M203 grenade launcher um, that could be holding it in place, but it is quite a nice, solid fitment, though. So there's our ACR. Our ACR is all set, and we'll use our grenade launcher for another character down the road. All right, next up, we're going to do... What should we do next? Should we do... Hmm... The scarf, the grenades, the pouches, or the backpack. You guys choose. Up to you. Backpack. You got it. Alright, so let's get our backpack. We'll move him out of the way. Got our backpack here. <coughs> We already have two pouches on there. They're not glued in, though. And we're going to get our attachments set up here. We have first our radio, which is going to go on the side of the backpack. If I can get this silly little bag to open. There we go. And I went with a green just to kind of um, kind of uh, get to get it to stand out a little bit more. There's the little green radio. I really like the sculpt of these radios as well. It would be nice to get a maybe a little bit of a larger radio with a longer antenna down the road. I think that would be a pretty nice little touch, seeing as not all radios are this small. But uh, it is a nice radio indeed. So let's get that plugged into the side right there. That's where that's going to sit with those two little pouches right there in the front. Okay. Let me cover my glue up here. We don't, uh, I'm going to get that, I don't know if that's in the shot or not, or this is in the shot. Okay, so we'll do our, finish up our backpack here. Uh, what did I want to put on there next? Oh, okay, we could, uh, we could do this. We will do this, actually. No, I'm going to move those pouches up to the next level. And we'll put our little loop-de-loops in. <clears throat> Woodman29, what's going on, bud? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Ponce. I didn't see your uh, your thing there. I'm sorry, your uh, your message there. Um, I think the you said the I think the Lucha figures are awesome. I just wish they weren't painted animated style. Yeah, I mean, teach your own if you like it. That's cool. All right, so we're gonna put these up here. These little pouches up here. Like so. All right, and we're going to put our loops down here. Oops. I think I do have some more grenades. I probably should have got some more. All right, we're going to do that right there. I don't know why this isn't. 
This isn't showing up because it's like very dark. But there you go. You can see the uh, four loops right there. Pretty cool. All right, let's get to our grenades. I'm going to see if I have some more grenades in a second. You guys are so quiet today. Why aren't you? No one's talking. What's going on in chat? Why are you all quiet? Talk, people. Aren't you guys excited for Toy Fair? Toy Fair starts today. There's a lot of WWE figures that got uh, shown today, which I'm ooh, uber excited for. Friday night, everyone must be tired. Am I going to Toy Fair? No, I don't have a, a press pass. Only press can go to Toy Fair. You have to get like a press pass and do all that. Okay. I could apply for a press pass, but I just don't, I don't think I really care to go to that Toy Fair. Stupid phone. I gotta get a new phone, man. My phone, I gotta get battery dies so easily now. Although my phone is like eight years old, so. <laughs> You're probably like, oh my God, eight years old. <laughs> get a new phone, bro. But you know what? It does, it does work. It's just like the, the battery just goes to, to utter crap quickly. All right, so we got our pouches in there. <sighs> but everyone knows ODC? Yeah, right. I wish. <laughs> I don't need a press pass. I should just walk in. Just be like, I don't need a press pass. I'm ODC. Just walk in. <laughs> hey, we all know that the moon is made of green cheese, but what if it were made of barbecue ribs? <laughs> oh, Harry Carey? Was that a Harry Carey reference? <laughs> God, it's so funny. So funny. I I love Will Ferrell, don't get me wrong, and I love John C. Riley, but I do have to say that that Sherlock Holmes movie was god awful. <laughs> I know I said it before, but I have to reiterate <laughs> how bad it was. It was it was atrocious. <laughs> Gaz, what's going on, bud? All right, so we're, we're, we're getting there with our backpack. I'm going to glue our loops in. And I do have to get two more grenades, unfortunately, out of my bag of goodies. But, uh, you know, there we go. Glue our loops in. Eh, let's see if I can get this in. There we go. B-U-B-E-A, beautiful. Ah. <laughs> uh. I, I'm really excited for day two of Toy Fair, I think. Day two is always the best day, I think, every year. Uh, I'm supposed to be hanging out with uh, Strident later tonight. Uh, pro probably not going to do an upload or anything like that, but we're just going to chat. We'll probably do a uh, collaborative effort as far as the Toy Fair goes. So we do that every year. It's kind of like tradition, you know. Who am I making tonight? Well... <laughs> What would be the point of, of me telling you, Gaz? Come on now. You should know better than that. You're a vet. Come on now. I feel like I should start giving you guys rankings, you know, for how long you guys have been subbed to me. Scabcat, what's going on, bud? What's going on, Kyle? I didn't see. How am I not seeing any of these, these, uh, These comments are like, they're like hidden. Because <laughs> there was like no comments for a while. Now I'm getting all, the, that's so weird. But everybody say hi to uh, Scabcat242. Go check him out. He's got, uh, he does a lot of Marauder stuff. A lot of G.I. Joe customs too, which is really cool. I'm just putting my pineapple grenade in here. Don't mind me, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we'll put, uh, we'll put this one over here. Now, the flashbang seems to... I probably shouldn't be doing this this early because I'm trying to wait for this glue to dry, but 
um, stretch this out just a little bit just a little bit you don't want to push too hard because then you'll snap the handle off all right and these are very small and i have fat fingers so oh come on i probably should have done this before i uh glued this in but you know it is what it is not the end of the world let's see You've been working on a file for this? Ooh, all right. Gaz is ahead of a lot of people then. He's working on a file card for me. And he's working on a code name. You're awesome, Gaz. You're awesome, bro. You guys got to get on that. I told you I'd make your own characters. Or you make the characters and then I will... Uh... Oh my God, this is being so annoying right now. I might have to trim this really quick. Just bear with me, guys. Also, doing this hanging over the uh, camera is not the also not the easiest. But there we go. Oh, oh I had it. <laughs> and then I lost it. Yeah, guys. If you guys have a... Um, if you have a character in mind that you have created or would like to create and you want to send me a file card... Um, code name, backstory, all that stuff. I will make a whole video for you or on on your character, excuse me, not for you, but on your character and then I will said then make the character based on what your file card says. I think that's a really fun interactive thing that we can do together. Um, I stated that in my giveaway video. Oh my god, this is being so obnoxious right now. This stupid loop there we go i got it there we go all right not the end of the world come on oh god there we go all right so we got one on that side one on that side and i'm going to fill in the other two holes but there you go for the backpack let's see if we can get this to focus a little bit better there we go so okay the backpack is all finito uh for the most part i want to say all right so next up let's get our guy back in here all right. All right. What else did I pick up this week? Oh boy, I got the. Um, I actually uploaded an unboxing yesterday on my Facebook page. I uh, so if you guys want, to <coughs> excuse me, sorry. If you guys want to check that out, you can. Um. But. Yeah, I did get some stuff in this week um some NECA stuff some uh I obviously got my Marauders stuff in all right next up let's glue his holster in here doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, that was a little bit uh, too much glue but it's okay there we go and then just give it a little pushy rushy pushy whooshy stupid dog hair everywhere dog hair everywhere dog hair everywhere come on get in there there we go it's coming along it's coming along all right next up we're going to do our big old What about you cavemen that aren't on Facebook? Um, <coughs> you should consider joining Facebook at least for... Um, there's a lot of really good um, action figure pages that you can join. Um, like Strident's page, you can join Strident's page. You can... Um, I mean, you can get news quicker or just as quick. I mean, obviously, if you have Twitter, you'll get it the fastest. But if you're part of the Facebook pages... Usually, people in the community will post new things coming out, or um, you can join the Marauders uh, fan page, too, or the Mythic Legions fan page. Um, those are all pretty solid communities, good guys and girls, and um, everyone's usually respectful. Um, but, uh, yeah, I always upload all of my unboxings. I, I solely do my unboxings on Facebook, so...
What is everyone hoping to see this weekend at Toy Fair? I hope... You hope Hasbro does Omega Supreme... Uh, has an Omega Supreme display. That would be cool. Um, Strident started getting me into the... Um, Transformers... I know, I know, I know, I know. I said I wasn't going to go down that rabbit hole, I know. But this line looks really good. The uh, Transformers Siege, uh, Battle at the Battle of Siege line. It looks really good. Uh, unfortunately, I have to find Ironhide in store because for some reason all the pre-orders are sold out, which I really annoys the shit out of me when I see a pre-order being sold out. It's like, why, why is there a pre-order up if it's just... You're going to sell it out. Um, <clears throat> fulfill, fulfill more orders, please. That would be nice. All right, so next up, we're going to attempt to do this properly. I might have to glue this in two different places, although it looks halfway decent like this. I know it's going to look funky, but just trust me. Um, that's a whole new mess. <laughs> Yeah, there's an Ecto-1 Autobot Transformer. It looks pretty sick. <laughs> he said, oh no. <laughs> um, I did pick up, I'll probably do a um, unboxing on Sunday. I have something coming from Amazon that's Transformers related. So, stay tuned for that. And I'm a newbie when it comes to Transformers. Like, I didn't have a whole lot of Transformers when I was a kid, and I haven't been collecting them since, so, oh boy, am I a newbie when I try to transform these things. <laughs> okay, so that's what that's going to look like, right? All right, and then we're going to do... What are we going to do here? Now, this was, this was my conundrum. I had, I need all, I need this to sit somewhere, and then I wanted to put a, I guess I could just put one of them there, and then leave this there, like, like so, okay, and then I was going to do, what was I going to do, where am I, oh, shucks, hmm, all right, well, I already went through with it. I have to commit. There we go. It pops right there. And then I'll leave that other pouch open. Come on, get, get in there, you little jerk. All right, so this is pretty much what the tack vest is going to look like, okay? Do the unboxing on YouTube. I don't, you know what? I don't like doing unboxings on YouTube anymore. A, not enough people watch. B, it's kind of redundant for the channel because I'm just going to do the review. So I feel like seeing two of the same video on the same channel is redundant. I, I, I just, I don't know. I, I'd rather just separate it on Facebook. This way we can interact on Facebook too, you know? I'd like to actually do some just hangouts, chills, on uh on facebook with you guys that's why i'm trying to get you guys to um go on facebook or go on the strident page and uh use that those two forums for uh discussion and stuff like that because i think it's a, a lot more fun i can listen to music play music in the background and don't have to worry about copyright strikes stuff like that because facebook is isn't doesn't have their panties in a bunch with stuff like that you know Does the new upper torso fit on the older waist and legs without any issues? Yep. As you can see right here, they do. They absolutely do, Woodman. Some people said, and I and I had to inter interject, some people said on the Marauders Facebook fan page that they didn't. And I'm like, where are you guys getting this from? Because this is a new torso, upper torso piece on an older torso. And I was like... They fit fine. They're like, no, they don't fit, and they wobble. And I'm like, really? Cause, cause, uh, really? <laughs> I'm like, they definitely don't wobble. Mine's not wobbling. 
Mine fit in nice and tight. He moves fine. Look, no issues. No issues. I don't know where they're getting this information from. <laughs> but, okay, you know, to each their own, I guess, if they, they want to just say things for the sake of saying them. Uh, but, okay, so here's our tack vest. We're going to start gluing this stuff in. And then we're going to finish up. We're almost done. We're almost done already. I can't believe it's been 45 minutes already. That's insane. I just have so much fun doing these videos, talking with you guys. It's very enjoyable. It really is. It really is. I lose track of time. I will I won't be on it. I will be honest here. I have been getting some complaints about my reviews being too long lately. Some people think I need to shorten them. I mean, there's nothing really I can do about a shortening a live review, but yeah. I can shorten my other regular reviews. I just don't see a point to doing a six minute review. I feel like that's, you're not getting all the information that you, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like you just, there's a lot of information you could add in. I just try to be thorough because I tend to forget things a lot. And being a reviewer, that's very frustrating. So I try to be as thorough as possible. And if I do forget something, I usually try to go back and edit in my mistake or something like that and point it out for you all to not make the same mistake as me. Okay, so there's our knife in the front. I know it looks a little bit bulky in the front, but you have to understand this is going by a design for a character. So, all right, and then for the leg, we're gonna take our last, actually, you know what? We'll use this pouch right here, this ammo pouch, this leftover ammo pouch, and we'll put that on the leg. And we'll do that. And I think the gray helps stand out a little bit. I think that looks pretty pretty okay to me. I don't mind the gray, to be honest with you. It's a nice little transition. Okay, now let's see if you guys figure out who the hell I'm doing. Gaz will probably get what I'm doing. All right, so we got our scarf now, and then we're going to pop on our... Oh, God, the head fell off. No, it's not flint. Oh, there's our scarf. Let's see. Who could this be? <clears throat> Who does that look like, huh? Who is this? Who is that? Who is this? Who is this person? Who are you? <laughs> Anybody know yet? Let's put our backpack on. Gotta have a backpack for this character. There we go. It's a guy. Can't. The reason why I had to use it. The reason why I had to use a female head was just due to the ponytail. There's no male ponytail heads. But you can't even tell it's a female head once the, the face is covered. So. <coughs> Where you at, Gaz? I know you know who this is. <laughs> Dem Guts, what's going on, buddy? Let's get our ACR in his hand. And then we'll almost be done. I just have to fish out a, a couple more grenades. Out of my extra bag. Oh, I forgot to forgot to glue that down. You're close, Gaz. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> now I went with the original concept design for this character. I didn't go with the traditional one that's in the game. This is Midas. From Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now, you're probably like, why did you pick this character to do? Well, A, I told you I was going to finish off the rest of the team. 
B. This was uh, uh, something a little bit different to do. Uh, like I said, the next video is going to be a G.I. Joe character, so worry not. Uh, all right, so we're going to let that glue. But yeah, this is Midas. And like I said, I just took a female new Marauder's head. I took the ponytail head. I snipped the ponytail in about half because uh, he's got kind of like a shorter ponytail. Uh, you can't even tell really that that's a female head unless you take the scarf off. But in the game, he's got a scarf that covers his face. So you don't really see the bottom of his mouth anyway. So unless you take the scarf off in the game and then you can see it. But uh, for the most part, by design, um, this is kind of covered up. So I thought it was going to work. I, you know what? It was a kind of a risk to go with the head, the female head. Um, it doesn't look all that feminine, uh, to be honest with you. I mean, obviously it'll work for, for a woman character, but since the, the mouth is covered up, I think it works pretty well for this character. And like I said, I couldn't find a ponytail head. Um, I know there might be some Marvel Universe figures that have a ponytail, but uh, I need something quick fast and I wanted everything to be shipped all at once so I think it looks pretty good I'm seeing as we already did Nomad twice now um let me get Nomad over here <clears throat> all right so we have Nomad and now we have Midas and we, let's get our stand for Midas here we got our task force stand let's get him on a stand let's get his gun in his hand really quick and he does actually use an ACR in the his original design. So if you go on like uh, Google and you type in um, Ghost Recon Wildlands Midas, you'll see which one I actually went with. And what I'll do is for a thumbnail for this video, I will actually post that photo with the thumbnail for this video. Um, and then we got to get him a sidearm. But here we go. There it is. Oh, let me fix his hand really quick. Sorry. All right. So we've got Midas right here. That looks pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that. And then we have Nomad. So we have about half our team. <clears throat> well... Gaz, in the, the um, he doesn't use an SMG in his original design. If you go by the Ubisoft original design for him, like I said, just if you Google search Midas, Ghost Ring Cod Wildlands, and then you type in Midas, the original character design was using an ACR. He's holding an ACR. I didn't go by the game version because I thought it was kind of bland. The original concept design for Midas was much more colorful. Um, it gave a little bit more of characteristics. Like, he didn't have this knife in the game either on his tack vest. But in the concept artwork, he's got the knife. Obviously, the scarf is a little bit different due to there not being those uh, different colored lines in the scarf. I just kind of went with a the best scarf I could possibly go with here. But he does have a gray tack vest in that uh, photo. He also has uh, knee pads. He has green pants instead of black pants, which are in the game. Um, he's pretty much all decked out in black in the game, which I thought was kind of dull. So I wanted him to look a little bit more vibrant. Um, you know, obviously Nomad until they start making red t-shirts. I'll have to stick with the, the black one on him. But uh... <coughs> yeah, 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 he does. Yeah, he does carry that ACR, yeah. I'm pretty happy with him. I think it looks pretty damn good. Everything fit in nicely. We've got half the team here. Pretty happy with it. It looks good. Now all we have to do is get... Um, who else is left? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, why, am I, why am I drawing a blank here? Let me get in a little bit closer here for you all. Tony, how's it going? <coughs> I'm 
sorry for coughing. I'm just uh, still like congested. Let's see if I can pull up this picture really quick for you all. Let me get him out of the way. Come on, load, damn it. Come on, phone. Jeez. I already did Culber Soldiers a long time ago. Alright. Well, my phone just died. Oh, well. Okay. But here is Midas, and I think it looks pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Some of the stuff they ran out of on, uh, I believe, the black knee pads. I wanted to give them black knee pads. They didn't have any left, so I went with the green. And then as far as the, oh, he's leaning a little bit. Why are you, why are you leaning? Are you drunk? There we go. There's the backpack. Uh, Men in Black, nah, I'm not doing that. Um, you heard the suit tops don't fit the original lowers? Okay, let's just check that out really quick. Do, 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 do. Let's check that out right now. <laughs> Here we go. Put a little dog next to him. Ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff. There you go. A couple rough ruffs for you. And you know what? We'll put Doc in there since they're in the same universe. We got Doc. Make a little party out of this. Put Nomad in there in the back over there. Got Midas in here and he's leaning still. There we go. A couple wolf wolfs in there. <laughs> All right. And we'll give him a sidearm too. Give him a SIG. Or the P P26, actually. Let's get the P26 in there. There we go. And he is all decked out. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's get the suited body, which we have right here, right? Suited body. I'll check both male and female lower torsos for you. And we also have this. It is the same upper torso, so I'm not going to obviously go with that. Um, where's the other dress up version? Guy, thing, I'm a jigger. Thing, I'm a jigger. Thing, I'm a jigger. Where did you go, sir? Oh yeah, and anytime if you guys want to, if you guys want to see anything specific, um, let me know. I'll do my best to show, show you whatever I can. Um, where did my other one go? Where did he go? All right, we'll just go with this for now. <coughs> yeah, Holt will be difficult. I might just go with a white t-shirt for him. Where did that other dude go? Looking for the other one. 
the one with the plain black t-shirt. We might have put him somewhere else, maybe. Uh, no, I don't see him over there. It's not my villains. What the heck did I do? Why is Recoil lying on the ground? That's weird. All right, bear with me here. I'm going to get a male, guy, a male body over here. Get all this stuff out of the way really quick. Okay. All right, so you wanted to see a... Let me get my... All right, so we have a lower torso right here, right? And let's detach our suited body. Let me heat it up. It's... it's being kind of an ass. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. All right, so we have our lower torso. We have our suited body. Uh, hold on. Let me... Got to do this off camera. I'm not going to bump in. I don't want to bump into everything. Come on, it's almost in there. Eh. Yeah, maybe it's too shallow. The suit keeps get the suit coat keeps getting in my way. And I don't want to split it open. I feel like I could get it in though. Let me heat it up. Hmm. I don't think it's the balls too big, because if you look at this ball, well, let me get all this out of the way. Okay. I mean, it could be, it, it does look uh, just a hair bigger. I mean, very minimal, though. So, I mean, it's not really that much of a difference. I feel like if maybe you shaved off a little bit of the ball, you could fit it right in. How about the suited legs? Wait, how about the suit legs on an original torso? Okay. Oh yeah, those are loose as shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that doesn't work. <laughs> Way too loose. The uh, what the difference is here, if you look at the torsos. Oh my god, there's so much shit on my table right now. It's starting to annoy me. All right. 
if you look right here, you can see the ridges. See how there's no ridges on the original torso? That's the difference. That's why the ridges kind of keep the new legs on. That's why they're loose like that. Now you can put the the other the original legs on the suited body. Those fit fine, and they don't wobble around. I mean, I don't know why you would want to do this, but you can do it. go with that. Yeah, I'm sure if you shave down this 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 uh, peg just a little bit on the sides, maybe on each side, it'll probably pop right in. It's probably not that big of a deal. Oh, of course, yeah. I'm sure Marauders will fix it down the road. I'm sure it's not a big deal. They'll they'll probably see that people want to to pop different things on, and it's not, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. Oh, let's put our bald head on. We'll put our new bald head on there. Show you how that looks. New bald head. Let's get our old head out of there. Oh, the uh, skin tones are different. Hold on a minute. There we go. Now we got Agent 47. Right? Agent 47 right there. You got a little Hitman. There we go. It's Hitman. Get yourselves a Marauder's bald head and make yourself a Hitman. <coughs> all I need is a silenced pistol. And I'm all set. He's, he, he, he'll be done. <laughs> easy, easy custom. I did actually see someone post, which I thought was um, intelligent, and I'm not being sarcastic, I actually think it was an intelligent post. Someone posted a picture of one of these heads. Oh, I'm dropping it. And where'd it go? <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> someone posted a picture of one of these heads, and they customized a, uh, a beard on it, and I was like, yes, please do that for... Uh, for Nomad, please. And I was like, uh, give us blonde, give us red, give us dark, and give us uh, our dark hair, black hair, and then uh, brown hair, please, with a beard and sunglasses on. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Someone actually did that, and then Marauder Ruben actually chimed in, was like, uh, oh yeah, we might have to do that. <laughs> How is Dad Soup is body compared to Cobra Commander Professor A I don't know what you're trying to ask me here. Action figure expert. How is Dad Soup? Oh, I know. It's so it's sold out pretty quickly. I was I was expecting it. Um, I, I'm glad that the next character I'm going to be doing is going to be using too much of the new stuff. So, um, I, I don't really, I don't really have a problem with stuff selling out. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people out out there that you know. If you guys missed out on some stuff, you're probably like, "Oh man, this is so annoying. Everything's selling out." Don't worry, Marauders is really good with restocking stuff. I wouldn't worry about it too much, you know. <clears throat> All right, so let's get Midas back in here because this is his video. There we go. 
This is your video, Midas. So. But there we go. There is my version of Midas from Ghost Recon Wildlands, in case you're curious as to who that is. How is the body compared to Cobra Commander and Professor? Uh, which Cobra Commander? The suited body? With which Cobra Commander? Which version of Cobra Commander? Because there's like a bunch of different Cobra Commanders. I mean, if you're just asking in general, any Cobra Commander, I can grab one. <coughs> I'll just grab Pursuit of Cobra, Cobra Commander, if that's not a big deal for everybody. Um, let's see. Is Pursuit of Cobra, Cobra Commander okay? There you go. Looks pretty good to me. Did you want to see the head on the body? Does anybody want to see any head swaps? Uh, I think I have another Cobra Commander up here. I have the other Pursuit of Cobra Cobra Commander. here <coughs> suit suit wait suited end body um i'm confused suited end body do you mean suited body and which body are you talking about? Are you talking about the convention one? I don't have the convention one. So I don't know. I don't have that one that came with the podium. I don't have it. So I can't tell you if it, what it looks like. This is the best I can do for you. I don't know what else you want me to do. <laughs> I don't have Marvel Universe. I don't. I have like three Marvel Universe figures. I don't really collect them. So there you go, though. I mean, if if these fit in okay with them, I'm sure the other one will. I, I mean, just. It, I'm, it's pretty much common sense. If, if these are going to fit in scale with him, um, I'm sure that one will. And I'm sure the hooded head will fit on this peg. It should, for the most part. I, can, I think I have a hooded head. Cobra Commander. I don't know if that's what you're looking to, to see. Yeah I, I don't, yeah, I don't own Professor X. I don't collect Marvel Universe, really. I have three Beast figures from Marvel Universe. I have Quasar. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think I have a Captain America and a Wolverine. And that's it. That's all I have collected from Marvel Universe. I really don't collect them. I never really got into them. So, I apologize for not having them, but I just, I don't collect that. So. I mean, I would probably pick one up for like a custom head for someone else. <coughs> but but all the GI Joes, all the modern GI Joes usually fit in with Marauders pretty well. It's not like a a big drop off or anything like that. You know. If you want to see a head swap on the body, I can show you that really quick. Let me pop this head off. Pop 
this head off. Hopefully it fits. I know this is a new body with a new peg, but oh yeah, it fits fine. Fits perfect. Nice and snug too. Look at this. So there you go. Get him out of here. You need to make a custom Tony Stark Iron Man figure. Nice, man. Well, good luck with that, you know. Hope it turns out okay for you. Get Midas back in here. He's the uh, star of the show. All right, let me get my Cobra Commanders resituated here. Okay. <coughs> God, I can't stop coughing. It's <coughs> constant pressure. Yeah, I hate being sick. It's been like frustrating. All right, so there we have Midas, and uh, I think that's going to be pretty much it, unless you guys have any more questions about anything. And I'll try to answer them as best as I possibly can for you. Pew, pew, pew. I'm playing with the Marauders figure right now. Those aren't actually the noises I make. <laughs> Oops, everything's over. Pew pew. <laughs> there we go. Let me bring in him. This could be our Holt for now. <laughs> Till I get the rest of the parts. Just need to I need to I, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for Weaver. But, yeah, no problem, expert. No problem, buddy. No problemo. Professor X. But uh, thank you to Zorpox the Destroyer, uh, action figure expert, Scabcat242, Oscar Laguna, uh, Ponce 2170, Tim Casa, Woodman 29, Gaz, and I think that's it, and uh, Dem Guts, and Tony Gonzalez, and I think that's it. Okay, I think that's going to be it for Midas here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to hit the like button. Uh, it's free to do, and it helps me a lot. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you like the content, hit subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for notifications until you see two little parentheses hanging over the bell. This way you know you get all notifications instead of occasional ones. And, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. Thank you so much for uh, uh, chatting with me and uh, just taking time out of your day to spend time with me. And uh, talking about these wonderful things we called action figures. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this installment. I'll have to say, I, th I think this is episode... Oh, this might be episode 10. Holy Toledo, that's a lot. Um, but um, I'm going to be putting in an order tonight, guys. I can't wait. And uh, Gaz, get, get on that uh, that information. I can't wait to make your character. And if, like I said, if any of you guys want me to make a character for you... Um, I can do that. Uh, just be sure to make a full file card with a bio, a code name, a regular name, 
where he's from, all the information that you would do for a normal G.I. Joe code name, and uh, I will, I'm going to be cultivating uh, as many um, submissions that I get, I will be cultivating an, an entire subscriber team. It's going to be fantastic. I think it'd be really fun to do, and uh, I can't wait uh, to give you guys your own version of your own Marauders Task Force figure. Um, obviously, it'll be part of my collection because it's something important and it'll be something special for me. But uh, if you wanted to, you can make the same version of yourself. Um, I think it's a really awesome idea to do. And it's something different and it's something interactive that we can do together. And uh, I mean, if it's, uh, it's something fun to do. So um, there's that. And I have a couple new segments coming up um, within this week. And uh, like I said, to my subscriber winners of my contest, I, I know, I know, I, I was, I was going to ship out your stuff last week. I got kind of caught up with a lot of car buying situational things. Uh, don't worry. Uh, like I said, Tuesday, your your stuff is going out. Um, the other kind of reason I waited on it was because I'm trying to wait for this last winner to get, uh, send me his contact information or at least an email where I can email him his gift certificate to Marauders, but I can't for some reason, uh, I haven't gotten any messages from him. And like I said, uh, by Tuesday, if nothing happens, I'm going to draw a new winner. Um, uh, you know, it's been almost, it's been two weeks now since, uh, I believe, I think it's been about, about two weeks. So, uh, worst case scenario, we will have a winner for that Marauders Task Force, um, Gift certificate, either way. Um, and if you're watching this, Invader 6 Dark Lord Cobra 66, please contact me on Facebook. Um, like I said, you have until Tuesday. Uh, I believe that's Tuesday, February 19th of 2019. So you have until then to contact me. If you don't, by then I'm going to have to draw a new winner. It's just been taking too long. So, um, But the other winners, I will send your stuff out right away. So... Um, not to worry there, and I apologize for making you guys wait, so, but to send it to me, Tim. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much for hanging out. You guys are awesome. Have a great weekend.